वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल पाठशाला वेयर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड टुडेस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाइल द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द टीथ टेक प्लेस सो बिफोर द इरप्शन व्हाइल द टीथ इज स्टिल डेवलपमेंट सो व्हाट एवर द डिजीज व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स सो इफ देयर इज एनी एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन द डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट इफ व्हाट इट कैन कॉज सो वी विल बी स्टडीइंग ऑफ कोर्स द रीजन आल्सो एंड द डिजीज एंड इट्स फीचर्स एज़ वेल सो टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स और एनॉमलीज व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द टीथ सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hello friends welcome to our 10 in 10 series where we cover each topic under 10 headings in 10 minutes and these are the major important topics and most of the topics are frequently asked for 10 marks questions so today's topic is the dentinogenesis imperfect and before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos so coming about dentinogenesis imperfect a previous video we have already talked about amylogenesis imperfecta and in the hypomaturation amylogenesis imperfecta stage early hypomaturation stage we talked about that there is a snow cap appearance and i forgot to show you the picture so this is how a, a tooth which is visible or appeared like a snow capped tooth appearance so talking about dentinogenesis imperfecta now in dentinogenesis imperfecta dentin is going to be imperfect right so there is going to be an abnormal formation of the dentin so this is a inherent disorder of dentin formation which is characterized by see there is excessive formation of the defective dentin so the, unlike the enamelogenesis imperfecta there was no enamel right or little or no enamel but in dentinogenesis imperfecta there is increased defective dentin or we can say the dentin is impaired dentin increased impaired dentin so what happens when there is a increase in the dentin now if there is a increase in the dentin it obliterate the pulp what do you mean by the word obliteration of the pulp first of all obliteration mean defective or we can say wiped out or diminishes so what happens when there is a increase in the formation of dentin so it is going to put pressure on the pulp so there is going to be diminished Uh, we can see or obliterated pulp chamber so there will be little or no pulp chamber which is a characteristic c feature of dentinogenesis imperfecta now you have to understand two things in dentinogenesis imperfecta one is that we will be talking about dentinogenesis imperfecta and type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta when we are talking about types type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta is actually all the features are opposite in the type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta so type 3 is whole around a different story because it is against the dentinogenesis imperfecta so di wherever is di written this is the dentinogenesis imperfecta now talking about dentinogenesis imperfecta so till now we have covered the point one which is the inherent disorder of dentin formation so there is going to be the excessive dentin defective dentin formation which will result in the obliteration of the pulp chamber and the root canals right now there are three three types of dentinogenesis imperfecta the first one is dentinogenesis imperfecta associated with the osteogenesis imperfecta now what is osteogenesis imperfecta osteogenesis imperfecta uh, another name is the brittle bone disease what happens the bone start breaks uh, in case of osteogenesis imperfecta so it is basically the bone of the person becomes fragile and they are very prone to break easily you can see search on the internet and also we will cover osteogenesis imperfecta there are lot of people with osteogenesis imperfecta so this is the brittle bone disease so what happens in osteogenesis imperfecta this is the eye so what happens the sclera which is the white part of the eye right the white part of the eye it starts becoming blue so i have this blue color so it start becoming blue so this is known as the blue sclera it this is because of the thinning of the collagen fibers of the sclera now this is a characteristic sign of osteogenesis imperfecta as well as it is also seen in the iron deficiency anemia also but we are not bothered right now about iron deficiency anemia so dentinogenesis imperfecta type 1 is when it is associated with the osteogenesis imperfecta so whatever the feature uh, characteristic feature of osteogenesis imperfecta will be appear in the type 1 right because it is associated so the blue sclera is seen in the 
टाइप वन ऑस्ट्रोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्टर विच इज एक्चुअली अ करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ ऑस्ट्रोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्टर आई होप दैट यू गाइज आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट नाउ अदरवाइज ऑल ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्टर बोथ द डेंटिशन आर अफेक्टेड इक्वली बट इन केस ऑफ टाइप वन द प्राइमरी टीथ आर मोस्ट कॉमनली अफेक्टेड सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट सी एज द नेम सजेस्ट as the type 2 is the dentinogenesis imperfecta without osteogenesis imperfecta that means this is the plain dentinogenesis imperfecta we are talking so the typical feature of dentinogenesis imperfecta will be seen so this kind of dentinogenesis imperfecta which is not associated with osteogenesis imperfecta or i can say the plain that there is no term written plain dentinogenesis imperfecta i'm just trying to explain you that this is only the dentinogenesis imperfecta nothing is associated so this is known as the hereditary opalescent dentine so in this case the dentine is or the tooth is opalescent which is again our point number 5 which is the opalescent appearance of the teeth now and since the name suggest hereditary because this is hereditary and the dentine is opalescent so that is why hereditary opalescent dentine this type 2 which is only the dentinogenesis imperfecta is actually the most common type and the tooth appears like opalescent teeth now so the feature is when the tooth erupts the uh, there will be a polis uh, um, opalescent amber like appearance so oh, amber color is actually a, a differentiation it is a combination of yellow and orange color so somewhere uh, dark yellowish color or goldenish color tooth appears at the time of eruption but later on later stages it becomes gray or yellow brownish so it becomes darker with a bluish reflection right now talking about type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta which we call the brady wine type now this is the brady wine type again both of type 2 and type 3 both are autosomal dominant traits so this kind of uh, isolate this actually brady wine type is an isolated racial we can see it is seen in only in the state of maryland so this is uh, this have some isolated racial predilection so what happens in brady wine now i've told you this is different from other types how because otherwise then dent defective dentine was increased right and otherwise there was less or no pulp chambers i must say no pulp chambers because obliteration is diminishing that means it is not present at all so no pulp chamber this is the normal dentinogenesis imperfecta but what happens in brady wine type there is little or no dentine and there is increased pulp which is the opposite and this is the reason i have told you everything of brady wine type is actually opposite so the type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta has actually opposite features like no or little dentine and large pulp now what happens when there is little or no dentine and the pulp chamber are large then it gives an appearance of shell if we see radiographically it appearance it gives an appearance of shell so that is why the radiographic appearance of type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta see whenever there is a question shell teeth is asked you have to write that it is type 3 dentinogenesis imperfecta because otherwise there is uh, obliteration of pulp and there is increased defective dentine in dentinogenesis imperfecta but if you are talking about specifically type 3 brady wine type in this it is opposite where there is dentine is less but pulp is large so that gives an appearance of shell teeth so we have two kind of appearances which is seen in dentinogenesis imperfecta one which is seen in 1 and 2 so type 1 and type 2 there is going to be see this in case of type 1 and type 2 there is bulb or bell shape crown the most common type of dentinogenesis imperfecta is type 2 okay you have to remember this this is the most common seen type so the bulb or bell shaped crown is seen in 1 and 2 in which there is obliteration of the pulp chamber there is increased dentine and because of that there is a cervical constriction now how the tooth looks like in this the tooth looks like like this i mean not exactly but like this so this is we call the bulb so see can you see the cervical constriction so the cervical constriction there is a narrow cervical constriction at the cervix the teeth is narrower so there is a constriction so that is why we call the bulb or bell shape crown or you can say the tulip shape because the constriction cervical constriction is tulip in shape okay so it is when the crown is broad or we can say bulbous crown see bulb like crown from the occlusal view so if we cut it this is how the tooth looks like looks like a tulip see now this is how the tooth looks like broad 
crown and narrow cervical constriction. So, what happens in case of dendrogenesis imperfecta? Enamel is normal mostly, but what happens? Enamel is lost early due to poor bonding between the enamel and the dentin and because of the abnormal dentino enamel junction. Now, talking about the dentino enamel junction, it is smooth and flattened. Otherwise, the dentino enamel junction which is scalloped, right? But in case of dentinogenesis imperfecta, D for dentinogenesis imperfecta, DE, remember DE. So, DEJ is flat or smooth. So, because of that, there is not attachment, there is not good bonding between the enamel and the dentin. So, there is early loss of enamel also which is seen. And because of that, there is severe attrition of the dentin which is also seen. So, because there is a poor bonding between the enamel and the dentin because the DEJ is flattened. So, also after the tooth erupts, there is attrition or loss of enamel also which is seen. So, this is the reason that teeth in dentinogenesis imperfecta often exhibit severe abrasions. So, we have studied uh, 10 points the, that is increase in the defective dentin formation, obliteration of the pulp, three types. With osteogenesis imperfecta, without osteogenesis imperfecta, type 2 which we call hereditary opalescent dentin, type 3 is bradywine type. Bradywine type we see the shell teeth. Type 1 and type 2 we see the bulb or bell shaped crown and the tulip shape appearance. And DEJ is smooth and flattened instead of scalloped in case of dentinogenesis imperfect. So, I hope that you guys are clear with the dentinogenesis imperfect. So, if you enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs up. Also, you can comment in the comment section below. And there is a link in the description below to support me on Paytm as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes available to you. So, guys, till then, keep reading, keep studying. Take care. I will see you soon, guys, in the next video.